we are finally at the base of the entrance to Timberwolf Mountain. Need I say more? Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series, where we are running pretty low on water, to be honest. But I'm about to head up into a zone where there will be plenty of opportunity to melt some snow, boil the resulting water, and have more water to drink. So now it's just a matter of deciding what I want to take up this rope with me. And we probably need to drop about half of the sticks I'm carrying. Okay, just kidding, slightly more than half. But that's fine. Also, hang on. Let's refresh memories real quick. 88.37. Oh, I actually can't make old man's beard wound dressing. All right. Eighty-eight point two six. Refreshing my memory on how much weight changes when you prepare the items that you're carrying, and it's not nothing, but it's also not a lot. Okay. I don't need to drop a lot of things, you know. I really don't. I can drop feathers and be good for the climb. All right, let's go. Let's go. We ate all of our cattails at the end of the last episode. But one of the reasons I'm excited about this next moment in the journey is that there is so much to be discovered up on Timberwolf Mountain. Yeah, see, this is what was potentially nerve-wracking before. Apparently the climbing bug was just that you were exhausted much faster than you should have been when climbing. So this climb, even just this one, but certainly some of the ones on Timberwolf Mountain would have been uh, very troublesome. Thankfully, I literally started that climb with the first of my energy. I'm going to go ahead and start picking up sticks again. Because we're here now. We're still in Pleasant Valley technically, but I mean, for all intents and purposes, we're on Timberwolf Mountain. We're on the way to the top. But yeah, there's so much to be discovered. Not only is there plenty of food, but there's just loot like you would not believe. It is definitely a zone that's worth kind of knowing where you're going. I guess that's true of most zones in the Long Dark. And as I've said many times over the years, I think the game is really at its best when you're a little bit more lost and confused. You don't quite know where you are. You're finding your way around the map for the very first time. That's when it's most exhilarating. Because every single, you know, shelter that you find at the last minute is a potential, like, life-saving moment. And that's what the Long Dark is all about. It's like seeing your life drop all the way down to like 10 or 15% or lower, two or five percent. And then making it to a place where you can light a fire, put a bedroll down, I made it through another night. and recover all the way back up to a hundred. A little bit harder on this code to quickly recover all the way back up to a hundred. But when you know what you're doing, when you have the right kinds of tea, etc both birch bark and herbal tea. And it's really great. And actually, speaking of that, Wonder since we still have any of this gear. a bit of walking to do, let's go ahead and start a quick fire here. We're going to use the magnifying lens rather than a match because it's a nice sunny day. I'm just going to warm on. up for a moment. Come on. And go ahead and make some water, if I can. Damn. Didn't really do this last episode because I was, you know, I wanted to get here. But we're here now. And so I can afford to breathe a little bit and pause and enjoy the moments. Perfect. This, this moment in the series has been a long time coming. All right, so there's a couple pieces of coal there. Those should heat the fire up pretty fast. Uh, whether it's enough is another question. We'll have to see. Might be just shy. Nope, that's enough. And I was thinking it would be. 
All right, so I want to be careful here because... Do I have two cooking pots on me? I do. That's a mistake. I must have picked the other one up by accident. All right, so I can make one of these teas, or I can eat one of them. Do I not have reishi mushrooms prepared? That's interesting. Maybe you can't prepare it in that kind of... Maybe you can't use a skillet to prepare reishi tea. Like, I'm looking at the, op the option to heat up some reishi tea here, but not to actually make any... Oh, wait, there it is. Do I not have the enough water remaining? Is that what it is? Oh, I don't have enough water remaining. I didn't realize I had so little. Okay, in that case, it's even easier. Let's go ahead and uh, pass some time. I want you to drink that. And we'll have some additional water on top of that. Now you can make that tea. Because one of the things I wanted to do with this fire, it is still early morning. It's one of the reasons I stopped to warm up for a bit. All right, let's take that tea. I'll probably warm it back up before I leave here. Let's take that water. Is that enough water for now? Can I afford to do any more is the question. We have two hours on this technically. So let's tempt fate a little bit and go for a little bit more time. Kind of Alright, now we have a lot of water. Now we have a lot of water. So I can probably pick that stuff back up. And one thing I want to do before I go, I guess we'll put that back down for a moment because we need to heat one of these. Let's drink that tea. Get a few calories from it. And then we'll also... Take a torch from the fire, and that'll keep us a little bit warmer for our initial steps into Timberwolf Mountain here. <laughs> How much would it suck if there was just a bear right here? There are no bears that, that are on this side of the zone, but just the, the thought of a random bear just like being here at the entrance to the zone when you don't really have any way to get by it or even to run away from it. That would be like the ultimate April Fool's patch for the Long Dark. And no, I'm not trying to give Hannerland ideas. That's a terrible idea, but it's funny to think about. Please never do that, Hannerland. We love you. And we don't want that to change. <laughs> Eek. All right, so there are multiple cargo containers from this plane wreck. The main plane wreck is barely visible up there at the top of the mountain right there. And there's one cargo container way out that way. As I said earlier in the series, over there. There is, no, it actually wasn't this series, it was... It might have been during As the Dead Sleep, I don't recall. But it was the last time I was here at Timberwolf Mountain. I was reveling in knowing just a little bit more about how to get around because so much of me really does forget that you can keep going in that direction rather than just going straight up here kind of to the left and trying to climb directly. It's easy for me to forget that. I'm a creature of habit. And there's a lot of the zone, including areas of the mountain that can be reached without climbing any ropes, if you just go a little bit farther in this direction rather than trying to go straight up as soon as the mountain is on your left. So FYI... 
there is wisdom in hanging in the low-lying areas of the zone and fully exploring the different options for your paths. All right, I, I really don't feel the need to walk everywhere picking up sticks like they're cattails, but I'll tell you what I will pick up like they're cattails. Cattails. <laughs> All right, I see a wolf not far away, so I'll have to be careful there. Because he just got occluded from view. All right, we've lost our torch. The wolf doesn't actually patrol, like, down this way, like, past those two rocks that kind of, basically through this gap. The wolf doesn't come this far, but I could still be detected if I'm not careful. So I'm going to be very careful for a moment and uh, try to avoid that while also checking out this backpack, because there's a wolf on the other side of that rock somewhere. I just saw him. Or her. Potential she-wolf. Either way, don't want to piss it off. Okay. I am losing warmth pretty quickly, which is annoying, thanks to my torch being gone. And also just thanks to the fact that we're on Timberwolf Mountain. It's going to be cold. One of the things I'm excited about is that to whatever extent we don't have the best man-made items in the game, which we more or less do with two Mackinac jackets, but there's a possibility we could find some gear on Timberwolf Mountain that is better than what we're wearing. It's slim at this point because of the loot settings we're using, and I might just be completely wrong. Yeah, I'm glad I'm double-checking some of these cattails because I'm definitely dropping stalks on the ground. Left click, right click. Not right click, left click. That would be bad. All right, I'm staying low to the ground because that wolf is just beyond that rock and I, I have no confidence that they've actually moved away. I do have revolver ammo now though, so hang on. Is that two? That was two, but only one dropped on the ground. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's right, because the last time I reloaded, I only had five shells. Did I say or five I cartridges. So there were really there, there was only one that dropped out when I fired down to four total shots remaining. Interesting. Left click, right click. And left click, right click. Nice. Okay, still gonna stay low. Until I have eyes on this wolf and know that they've moved away a little bit, I am gonna just I, I might I'm I'm willing to lose a little bit of life if it means not ticking off this predator. Because the thing is, they could be right on the other side of this rock. It's a goddamn freezing. So it's a bit of a crapshoot. Like if I just stand up and start walking and grabbing cattails right now, I could end up really regretting it. And the last thing that I would want to happen is like, yeah, all right, there's the wolf over there. I, I think that's the wolf. There might be more than one. But the last thing I would want to happen is for like an animal to get me before I even started climbing. We're going to tangle with wolves and bears on our way up here. No question. Okay, I can stand up. Yeah, that's the wolf over there. All right, I'm going to hug this rock face here. and then head for the cabin where I will hopefully find some interesting goodies. I see a deer over there. That's a good sign. Still plenty to be scavenged in the area. I'm going to pay a quick visit to the boat <laughs> for the memes. Oh, uh, no. Hello, my old friend. You've definitely never resulted in any 
hilarious moments, have you? Nope. Okay. Nothing here. As expected. This is not a run where knives are enabled. I'm still holding out hope. And Raphael has not ruled it out. And if, and if he wants to rule something out, he'll rule something out. So I'm still holding out hope that we will get custom settings that allow us to specifically say that we want, you know, knives and hatchets to spawn, but nothing else, you know? Is that a book on the ground? I think I see a book on the ground. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, that's a summit soda. It's ruined. It's ruined. So, like, that way, if we wanted to, like, not have a rifle, but we want a revolver, we want a hatchet, we want a knife, we could do that. Climber's journal page. I'll take that. Uh, I don't really need the sewing kit, to be honest. So I'll hold off. Summit soda. Hey, scrawled message. So, memento hints. Uh, chasm cave. I don't remember exactly where the chasm cave is, but I, I recognize that name. More matches. Come in handy. Twelve more. Painkillers. Nice. Racket. Ooh. Ooh. We can get leather from those. We can absolutely get leather from those. That's wonderful. Wasn't expecting that. All right. Let's grab some firewood here. This much gear. And I think it's probably time for me to go ahead and just rest up for a bit. So... I don't need to start a fire right now. I'm actually warming up in here, believe it or not. It doesn't seem like it should be possible, but I'm definitely warming up in here. Also, there's the small arms handbook, which I could get away with, with reading that right now. I need anything. These are both ruined, but I can I can drink ruined summit sodas at my current state. All right, we're not thirsty, but I'm definitely going to keep those handy because that's the caloric value in those is nice. All right, I'm going to go ahead and chow down on a few more cattails. I have plenty of water, thankfully. When I walked away from the fire earlier, did I grab my skillet? Yes, I did. That's a new, like, habit that I want to make sure that I, you know, and I'll probably grab my skillet with the same reflex that would grab anything else, you know, off the fire. But, you know, it looks different, and I'm wary of the fact that I might forget it at some point accidentally. I would prefer to avoid that derp if I can a lot of this is like I'm playing this content for the first time and learning about it while also recording so like learning it properly is a bit more of a challenge so you'll hear me vocalize random like hypotheticals like that talking to myself through that situation all right so that's 250 free calories from the summit soda I am going to go ahead and just eat the rest of these cattails again, because there are, first of all, there are more. There are plenty more on the lake. Oh, I'm eating the potato. I guess that's fine. Didn't mean to eat that just yet. But before I do anything else, let's open this up. Can I just read it straight through? Like, would there be anything wrong with that? Should I maybe start a fire first just to be safe? Tell you what, let's read it one hour at a time. That way, if I get super cold and lose health, it won't kill me while I'm reading the revolver handbook. Yeah, this works. Yeah, I'm not getting cold. Plus, this is helping me burn off some energy. And it'll help me sleep through the night and really attempt to climb with maximum health, which is... Fantastic. All right, so we got some revolver skill from that. Lovely. Let me go ahead and harvest this for a stick. <laughs> 42 sticks. Nice. All right, there's... All right, one thing I want to do for sure is I want to harvest these because this actually has the potential to help. My 
hand covering has been crappy for a while. You know, I could make rabbit skin gloves. I haven't done that. Um, I don't know why I haven't thought about that. I think I've been so fixated on my hat for so long. My rabbit skin, my rabbit skin stuff is back at the... Okay, good. They're 72% condition now, so it's not a lot better, but it's better. Yeah, rabbit, rabbit skin stuff is back at Thompson's Crossing, but... Okay, now I do want to make sure I have a fire going through the night, because I don't trust it to stay warm enough in here without a fire. Do I have enough water? Yeah, I, I think I'm good on water. So let me go ahead and start a fire. We're going to use wood matches, seeing as how I just picked up more. I'm not going to use accelerant. I'm going to keep the accelerant for an emergency situation. I've had it for a while. It's nice to have. Just going to enjoy the fact that I've got that accelerant and Come on, be content fire. with my life. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. And, yeah, we're just going to put this on there. I'll try and keep the coal, and I can definitely get rid of a bunch of sticks. We'll keep 15, obviously. So if we need to make a snow shelter at any point. Might even be able to get some fishing done while we're here, but this doesn't strike me as the place that I would necessarily want to hang out and fish. It just depends on how the rest of the run goes. I'm going to eat the last of these cattail stalks just to be done with them. Nine hours, 49 minutes. All right, so we know that fire is going to last longer than that. This technically counts as an outdoor fire because we're... This is a kind of special interior space. It's not a true interior, so the game still counts. This is outside. Nine hours, 46 minutes. I'm going to sleep for... I'm going to say nine, but it's not going to give me nine. And that's going to be most of the night, and we should recover the entirety. Ooh, Aurora. I'm not going outside. I should recover the entirety of health. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Still have one hour to... Actually, yeah, that, that doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like it is acting like an outdoor fire. I might be wrong about that. Or maybe they've changed it. I'm going to go ahead and eat. I'd already eaten most of this potato. I'll eat that. I have this cooked potato here. Because most of my food... I'll keep the good condition carrot for potentially cooking later on. Okay, so... I'm going to toss the small arms, small arms handbook on the fire. There are some items around here that I can chop up for firewood. just to keep it warm for the rest of the night to be safe. Any aurora wildlife out there? Yup, right there. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in here. We're not gonna mess with you right now. Alright, this shelf is gonna take an hour and 57 minutes to break down, which, honestly, I'm gonna do it. because I need to give myself something to be tired about anyway. All right, now we've got three hours. I'm not going to get that much sleep, but now we can rest until daylight and be in a better position to begin our climb, and hopefully that weather that we're hearing outside right now will improve, because that's not encouraging. Those are not encouraging noises. All right, sleep for three hours. Give me, like, one and a half, two. That's fine. Condition is completely full. Yeah, we have a blizzard outside, unfortunately. So let's just pile that wood on the fire. And what are we going to do for this time? Do I have anything else here that I forgot about? Can I do anything at the workbench? Improvised knife. Yeah, let's go ahead. It'll take 39 minutes to do this. 
Let's craft some arrow shafts. I just don't want to spend too much time doing this because I need to keep an eye on my food. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm about halfway full at the moment. Okay, let's... I need to make sure I can climb. That's one of the main things. So we're going to need to drop some more sticks off, most likely. Yeah, see... <laughs> I want to have 15 six on me, but I'm going to have to grab those last 15 from various places. All right, so I've got some more arrow shafts. I just don't have the ability to make arrows yet. It's fine. It is what it is. I can repair the hacksaw. Let's go ahead and do that. I forgot that I could do that just in my inventory. Just like that. I don't know why I forgot that, but I forgot that. All right, let's now sleep. I want to have maximum energy for this for this initial climb coming up. And we are going to let's see. Let's go ahead and eat those acorns. Drink some water. We're going to be very close to the right weight limit. Oof. Yeah, there's some stuff I might have to leave. I don't want to. I was kind of hoping for more cooking stuff here at the at, at this particular location, but no dice. Look how many matches I have. And everyone wanted me to light torches before I lit fires at the beginning of the series. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to troll y'all, but it's like, look how many matches I have. And I'm not, I haven't even explored everywhere. I'm fine. And a vocal minority of the comment section up in arms about the fact that I was refusing to uh, light matches. Or light uh, torches before lighting fires to save matches. So, let's see. Yeah, there's really nothing else I can do. I could... Let me repair this underwear... I'm trying to let a little, a little bit more time pass, given that that storm just ended. Oh, sounds like wind might be coming back in. Are you serious? Well, I'm glad I didn't attempt to climb just now, because what would have happened is I would have gone out there, and then a blizzard would have kicked up right when I arrived at Timberwolf Mountain. It would have been miserable. Holy crap. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. I've got to get more cattails so that I make sure that I stay fed. I'm kind of annoyed because I wanted to start climbing this episode, but I might not be able to. Let me step down here. I'm conscious of the fact that the nearby wolf might not have despawned, so I'm going to hang near this shoreline. But this is where I want to be anyway, because cattails. I'm going to try and follow said shoreline. Here we go. Just going to grab a few. That's kind of insulting. Like, you're just going to throw another blizzard at me right after the last one ended. This is not Pleasant Valley. This is Timberwolf Mountain game. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right. Well, let's head back. I've never felt so cold in my life. Yes, you have. You absolutely have multiple times in this series alone. But, you know, whatever lies help you sleep at night, Jennifer. <laughs> you do you. All right, here we go.
I really would have liked to have started climbing, and I still want to try. Uh, I want to see if I can sleep through the end of this blizzard. I don't have... I, I ate my carrot, the one that I was saving for cooking later. Half subconsciously, but also half in frustration. Because I knew that I didn't have a lot of food. Really? That's it? Alright, past time for another hour. Past time for another hour. And the day is literally almost over. This is such a frickin' insult. Now it's gonna break. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's try and make it to the first cave. Let's try. It's going to be freaking cold out here. I don't need the mountaineering rope, but it's good to know that it's there. All right. Let's do this. All right, so there's a deer over there. I don't see the wolf. Yet. There's a stump that looks like an animal up there. But I'm just going to go ahead and peek into this fishing hut real quick. Scrawled message. Nice. After meet the canyon before dark, the howling went all night. Dude, I feel you. Alright, two cave system. Alright, so... Not sure which of these... I've been to before, if any. Chasm Cave, I, I actually, Chasm Cave, I do know which cave that is. I remember now. That's the cave that the, um, that's the cave from the archivist, and I know exactly how to get there from here. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm, like, yeah, we're exactly at encumbrance. Hi. I wouldn't say that I'm in a hurry to go that direction, because I kind of have a route in mind at the moment for getting to the first cave. And I want to attempt it. Because I've attempted it before, and there was a critical piece of information that I was missing that I now have from practice. I'm going to try and stay back a little bit, because there could be a wolf. Right up here. Could also be a bear. So there's that. And yes, my finger is off the trigger. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, sure getting cold. I know. It's so stressful what we put you through. All right, I think we're good. There's the wolf over there. Got lucky. Don't you dare walk this way right now. Don't you frickin' dare. Because this climb does require a lot of energy. And I'd prefer not to deal with you nipping at my heels at the moment. Actually, it's a slightly longer climb than the climb up the mountain. But it's not that bad in the grand scheme. It's not that bad. Oh, hey. Oak trees. Nice. Alright, so we are at risk of hypothermia. I'm gonna hang a right back here. Hi, buddy. Wait a minute. What? No, 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 no. This is not... Did I not hug the... Is there a path that I didn't... Hold on. I thought I remembered there being a way here. Maybe there's not. Okay. 
Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Well, plan foiled. We might have to go... Wait a minute, what's this? Maybe this is it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just tried to go too wide, I guess. I think, I think this is what I was looking for. Alright, so there's a major... <laughs> There's a big old piece of the plane. And I believe... Yeah, nice. It's one of the climbing points. So I believe if I hang a right past this next kind of corner, we should see a cave. And that'll be a nice stopping point. For a second, I thought I was going to have to go back down the rope. Because I knew from the last time I attempted this route, and I went the wrong direction, which is what confused me the last time. I went back and I, like, I studied what messed me up. Because I knew that this way worked. And it was that path that I just took that I would completely forgotten about. Learned it in past visits to Timberwolf Mountain. Unlearned it. Needed to be reminded. Is there, are there any cargo containers here, or is this just an engine? I think it's just an engine. All right, so I can definitely see... Oh, so, God, that actually jump-scared me. Holy crap. Get down to the ground. That actually, like, genuinely jump-scared me. All right, painkillers. And bandage. Need to be mindful of my bandage count, too. I've got four left now. That was my fifth. But I don't have a ton of them, and I'm definitely going to be... <laughs> I'm going to be bandaging myself. On Tamer Wolf Mountain. That's that's the thing that's going to happen. Alright, so that tree is literally pointing to a cave. Watch. See? <laughs> and here we go. So this is the route that I originally meant to take in the meta series when I got confused and came up the rope and I was like, why isn't this working? I'm so confused. This is where I meant to be. And there we go. Got a save point. We're in the cave. Got some exploring to do, maybe some things to find, but it's what happens once we come out the far side of this cave that's even more interesting as we head towards the summit. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. If it's not your first time or even your second, look for the join button to access unique emotes badges and other perks new episodes are coming out every day but wednesday at 1 p.m u.s eastern time comments are always welcome let me know what you think oh that's a good stretch and i'll see you next time